You know, being a new mother is hard enough. What if you're just 17 years old? This is Alicia coming to us from Pensacola, Florida. Alicia is desperate to prove to her ex-boyfriend, David, that he's the father of her daughter, Abby. So listen to the struggle this teen mom has to endure on a daily basis. I started drinking, smoking, and having sex at a young age. And it's all fun and games until you get stuck and pregnant. My daughter, Abby, is seven months old, and David hasn't done a damn thing for her entire life. My boyfriend, Kevin, is more of a man than David was or will ever be. Kevin has been a father figure to Abby because David refuses to step up. I also blame a lot of David's denials on his two-faced girlfriend, Mary. It wasn't until Mary's tried going to ask him into the picture that David started denying our daughter. I will prove that David is Abby's father. And then David needs to start putting Abby first. He needs to help take care of the child that he created. So as you just saw, Alicia's boyfriend, Kevin, has stepped up to support Abby. We're going to talk to him a little bit later in the show. But Alicia, I mean, you said, you know, you're a wild teen. You're only 17 years old. I mean, how old were you when this started? I was 16 when I conceived. But you were still messing around before that, right? Yes, sir, I was. Okay. Getting pregnant at 16. Tell everybody and all those 16-year-old girls out there what that means to their lives. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's, it's hard, especially without a father figure, figure in the picture. It was not only physically, physically uh, tough on my body, it was, it was emotionally tough. It was, it was hard. What was David's reaction? You all were going together at the time. We, he, you tell him that you were pregnant. Was was he okay with it? He was. He was happy. He was. It was. It was amazing. It was an amazing start. We tried to conceive at my daughter. Why would no, he? That, that's that's a lie, Maury. That's straight up. That's lie. not. I, I mean, a lie. yeah, I. That's no, not a I lie didn't come clean, but yeah, I had doubts from the beginning because there's several people telling me that David, she's cheating on me. Give me all the reasons why you don't think you're the father. Well, for one, you know, in the beginning of my relationship, not only in the beginning, there, in the whole relationship, I've always had doubts because there's always there's been several people telling me that, you know, she's cheated That's on me. She, they That's might be. Lie. No, it is not. That's no, it is not a lie. Larry. He didn't ask no, it, for no. a DNA test until my daughter was four months and his girlfriend. Actually, was no, girl. I wanted a DNA test in the beginning, but you got mad in the hospital before he you, know, did you not tricked me into signing a damn test tickets. until my daughter was four months old. No, you all were together when you brought the yes. baby home and you yes. got and you got mad at him because he wouldn't help. I did. He, he he refused to do anything with her. He made a couple bottles, changed a couple diapers, and he refused to do anything else. And so you no, no, no. When you have you know four, this five, is five, no, no. When you have listen, no, no. You had your turn to talk. Let me talk, okay? Let me talk. You brought me on the show, so I'm finna talk. When you have three, four people come up to you, and three, two of them personally, you know, one of them's your, you know, what I'm saying now my old lady's best friend. Saying that you've had sex with them several times during the, the, during our relationship, before the pregnancy, and after the pregnancy, there's no telling who this father is. That's a damn lie. So be real. You need to get more. Do you know? No, you need to have more people come on the show. All the people you slept with during our relationship, well, right and now, let them know who the Dave, father is. But David, right now, you are the father, and I'm gonna prove that. We'll, we'll find out. And, want, and if I am the father, nothing's gonna change because you're not gonna let me see her. You constantly take her out of my life. I take Constant. her out to do the actions that could harm my child. Actions? Actions that can harm your child? You think David's mm -hmm. denials got stronger because somebody was in his ear, right? Yes. His, his girlfriend, Mary, he did not start denying my daughter until my daughter was four months old and he was with Mary. So you No, no, I had doubts before, Mary. I had doubts before. Mary, I, my Mary's old lady gave, no, my, my old lady this gave me the entire time. time clean and finally convince her before it got too late. Yes, I understand it's too late now, but now here I came clean. This is how I really, about, really feel about this, and this is we're here today to get down to the bottom of it. No, Mary's been in your ear. You know what this sounds no. like? It sounds like two teenagers arguing. But the problem mm -hmm. is it's over a very serious subject. We have a few of Mary's but Facebook... But, Maury, I had to grow up. I understand. We've got some, some of Mary's Facebook messages, okay? Th this is one of the Facebook messages that Mary put out. Neither of us have kids. How did that? How'd you? How'd that work with you, Alicia? It's a bunch of crap. It it 
it hurt me for the most part because Mary, Mary was supposed to be my friend. You know, we were on good terms. She was continuously telling me how, you know, she knew that Abby was David's and that he needed to step up. I see that. And then, you know, no, it, no, you're, you're a lying. You're story. Lying. I even have the messages that I sent one of the producers where she told me that she knew David would, or Abby was David's daughter. She's only 19 years old. She's a child still herself as well. <laughs> okay. Well, when we come back, we're not only going to uh, meet Mary, find out what she has to say, but uh, we're going to meet your boyfriend, Kevin, because he's kind of stepped up for you, right?